What I have here is a prototype of a wireless analog data acquisition system. The input to the system can be any form of analog sensor input, such as pressure sensor, infrared or ultrasonic distance sensor, light sensor, temperature sensor, and many others. In this demonstration, I will use a pressure sensor. The system is capable of handling many more sensor inputs, and they can be different. The pressure sensor is connected to the controller board. This is the pressure sensor. And it is connected to this controller board. This controller is the main component to the system. It is responsible for capturing the signals from the pressure sensor and converting the signals to meaningful data to be processed. When the data satisfies a given threshold, the controller will generate an output signal. This output signal can be used to turn on various forms of an alarm such as a light, an audible alarm, a haptic vibration, a low voltage stimulation, a relay for turning on high voltage equipment, and others. In this demonstration, I have an audible alarm, a light, a haptic vibration and a low voltage stimulation through this path to stimulate the subject. I will however not be putting on this path. The controller will also send the data wirelessly using Bluetooth to a mobile device. In this demonstration I will use my Android phone. What you see here is the main user interface for the app. This big number zero is where the actual data from the pressure sensor is displayed. Right now it is showing a zero because the mobile device is not connected to the controller yet. The raw data from the pressure sensor is scaled between the values of zero and 255. The two smaller numbers to the right show the maximum and minimum values of the data. The graph below shows a real-time plot of the incoming data. Two threshold alarms can be set. Right now the first alarm is set to be greater than 100. I'm going to set the thresholds to be greater than 100 and less than 150. Now the alarms are set to be greater than 100 and less than 150. You can also set the sampling frequency. Right now it is set at 10 samples per second. I will set it at 50 samples per second to make it faster. The first thing that I have to do is to establish the Bluetooth connection between the mobile device and the controller board. This is the Bluetooth module on the controller. This blinking red light shows that no connection has been established yet. The light will stop blinking when a connection has been made. Press this Bluetooth connection manager button to establish the connection. A list of the available Bluetooth devices is shown. Click on the Bluetooth device that you want to connect to. Once the connection is made, the red light on the Bluetooth module stays on. The range of this wireless signal is about 150 feet. To test out the connection, let me slowly apply pressure to the pressure sensor. 
As I do this, notice the number increasing. I'm going to release the pressure and the number starts to drop. This green lights on the controller board also show the data. More lights are turned on as I apply more pressure. To activate the system and start recording the data, I need to press the start button. Once the system is activated, the income data will be plotted on this graph in real time. I'm slowly applying pressure to the pressure sensor. And I'm releasing it. When the data is within the given threshold conditions, the various alarms will be turned on. Right now the data is about 100. And now it is about 150, so the alarm is off. The data is within the alarm range again. When the alarm is on, the red light on the controller board is also turned on. The data is also saved to a file for future analysis of the data.